Hello friends, welcome back to Alam PowerPoint channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create this slider effect, aka carousel effect, in PowerPoint. As you can see here, we can click on some objects and then the image can be moved. Let's just straight to the point, alright. First of all, insert one rounded rectangle and then draw it like this on the corner of your slide. While holding control key, scroll down to zoom out, insert one rectangle, then draw it slightly bigger than your slide. Send it backward and then while holding control key, select and block the two shapes and then click on combine. Now we have a hole on the center like a donut. Go to insert tab again, click on pictures and then select some image from your device. In this case, I think you might need to use image with the same ratio, otherwise you'll need to crop them later. Alright now, align the images to the center and then align it to the middle like this. While holding Ctrl and Shift key, drag them down to make it smaller. While you're still holding the Shift key here, drag the images and place them horizontally like this. Select and block all of the images and then drag the first picture to the center like this. Send it backward and then make sure you can see the first image through the whole of the rectangle. Zoom in, go to insert, you'll need to add some button here, so draw a rounded rectangle below the image. Get rid of the outline and then change the color to white. Duplicate it and then drag the newer one to the right. Now, you'll need to add some circles for the slide button. Put it like this and make sure you have a perfect circle. Get rid of the fill color, change the outline to white, and then add some weight. Duplicate it by how many you have the images. While holding shift key, click and select every shape here, and then distribute it horizontally. Now, insert a new circle, adjust the size, and make sure it is slightly bigger than the other circle. Put it like this, remove the outline, and then change the color to solid black. All right, this is how the slide looks like. Now, let's focus to the button on the left. Type this symbol. I don't know why this symbol called, so just type it like this. For another button on the right, type the same thing like this. Now, go to the picture on the center, right click and copy it. Right click on the big rectangle, format shape and then in fill option, choose picture and then click on clipboard. Click on the big rectangle again, go to picture format and then in artistic effect option, click on blur. Go to shape format, change the outline color to whatever you like and then add some weight. Alright, if you paid attention, next step will be much easier. Right click on slide 1 and then duplicate it as many of the images you have. Now on slide 2, zoom out, select Select every images and then drag it like this. Do it until you can see the second image through the whole of the rectangle. Right click at the picture on the center, copy it and then click on the big rectangle in fill option, click on clipboard. Go to picture format and then add blur effect, just like that. For slide number 3, of course we do the exact same principle like before. Drag it like this. Right click, copy it, in fill option, click on clipboard. And then go to artistic effect, choose blur effect. Alright now for the last slide, I think you know what to do right? Still the same principle. Select and block every images and then drag it like this. Copy the image on the center, click on the big rectangle, format the picture and then click on clipboard. Go to artistic effect, click on blur. Alright, now go back to first slide, I'll show you how to configure the button. Click one rectangle on the left, go to insert, click on action. In hyperlink setting, select preview slide. Click another one on the right, on insert tab, click on action again. In hyperlink setting, select the next slide. Now, for the white circles, click on the first circle, insert action. In hyperlink option, click on slide. And then choose slide 1. Click on second circle, insert action again, in hyperlink option, click on slide again. Here, you choose slide 2. For the third circle, exact same principle. In hyperlink option, click on slide, and then choose slide 3. The last circle, add action, hyperlink to slide, click on slide 4. Okay, select and block every button we've added the hyperlink before, copy it. Go to slide 2, delete every same button we've copied on the previous slide, and then paste it here. Now go to slide 3, just like before, select and delete every button, and then paste it. For the last slide, do the exact same thing like before. I think you know what to do. Now go back to slide 1, we're gonna do something about this black circle. Click it, in format shape, change the color by picking it from eyedropper tool. Here, I pick the color from the image on the center. Then move the circle to the top of the white circle. Now go to slide 2, zoom out, drag the black circle to the right a little bit. In color option, click on eyedropper tool again. And then pick one color from the image. Move it like this. If you see the color circle behind the white one, go to shape format and then bring it forward. Moving on to the slide 3. 
Drag the black circle a little bit. In color option, select eye dropper tool again, and then pick one color from your image. Drag it to the circle, and then bring it forward until you see it stands above it. For the last light, still the same principle like before. Drag it, bring it forward, and then change the color with the eyedropper tool. Alright. Now, select and block every slide, go to transition, click on move. Here, I adjust the duration to 0.75 second. Now, in preview mode, your slide will look something like this. You can click the button to move the slides. I think it's very cool if you want to do presentation with images. By the way, I have a little presentation for tourism attraction with this principle. Maybe you can try this. Anyway, we still have lots of tutorial waiting for you, especially if you want some cooler effect for your presentation. Just check this channel and I think you'll enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.